The New York Times has published a United Nations forecast of the possible movement of the radioactive plume from the crippled Japanese mm. nuclear reactors. It's expected to be moving into Southern California late tomorrow. John Coleman has been studying the weather patterns involved, and he joins us now with his perspective. John, what's your take? Well, Sandra and Alan, this prediction, as printed in the New York Times, seems to be structured to create a radiation scare in this country. It solely uses the computer model jet stream forecast, which is for winds from 25 to 45,000 feet above the surface. Yet the radiation leaks in Japan have not had that sort of explosive force required to reach those altitudes. Here is the animation produced by the UN Test Ban Treaty Organization. And as scary as it might appear at first, please note the colors. The radiation level of the plume as it reaches California is very low, at one one-hundredths of their arbitrary units. The head of the UN's Nuclear Regulatory Organization, a different UN unit, has acknowledged that the radiation levels predicted to reach the U.S. are harmless. He says, quote, No harmful levels of radioactivity would travel from Japan to the United States, given the thousands of miles between the two countries. I also challenge the validity of issuing a prediction based on the jet stream, since the radiation detected so far is all much lower in the atmosphere. Now here's the latest satellite picture of the weather pattern from Japan to North America. Notice that huge swirl in the Pacific, a few hundred miles east of Japan. That is the low-pressure winter storm center that brought the snow and the cold and the wind to Japan over the last two days. On the weather map, it looks like this, a large, complex low. Winds blow counterclockwise and toward the low-pressure center. So here, we see the cold winds coming off of Japan. We also see warm southerly tropical winds feeding into the low from its east side. Those winds tend to carry whatever radiation there is northward in a loop back into extreme eastern Russia. Some may get caught up in a circulation of another low nearer to Canada, and come eastward across the North Pacific. Well, it takes a lot of imagination to transport some of that radiation into that low coming down ashore in Northern California on Monday to produce some wind circulation and radiation in Southern California. And meanwhile, that intense low storm will be producing massive rains out in the North Pacific, and that rainfall should carry much, if not all, of the radioactive elements down to the water and out of the air. Remember, our Earth's climate systems are amazing in their cleansing ability. Sandra and Allen? All right, John, I'm sure you'll keep an eye on it for us. Thank you.